friends. It's Katie Steinberg here at the beach and uh, waiting for the sun to come right over that little crest of clouds. Um, and I don't know, if you're a Floridian, at least an East Coast Floridian, you know that the last like week has been rain and clouds and gloom and fog and mist and just all this weather that we Floridians are not uh, super used to at this time of year. Um, this is sort of normally, usually our sort of golden time where it's cool enough to be outside and enjoy the weather. Um, it's still generally sunny. We're past hurricane season. So, uh, so it's generally like a time of a uh, certain jubilee for us and for it to have been gray and gloomy and gross for the last week has been, well, just depressing. And uh, on top of that, it seemed like almost every conversation I had with, with a friend this week um, was going through something big and hard, life-altering kinds of things, death kinds of things, permanent kinds of things. And uh, boy, if that didn't just leave space for a whole lot of feeling low, feeling blue, feeling gray um, this week. And uh, it, it feels as if, I mean, here you go, looking over our horizon here, that um, the gloom is lifted. And, uh, or as I said uh, in the title, the gloom lifteth. Um, and I, I just can't tell you, I, I, I was shocked at how much it affected me to see the blue sky again yesterday for the first time in a week. I, um, you know, I'm, I'm not somebody who generally uh, struggles with seasonal affect disorder or, um, or seasonal depression, um, but it turns out I rely a lot more on that blue sky and bright sun than I realized. Um, and for those, you know, five or seven days, yeah, I mean, I was a little lower energy than normal, but I just kind of muddled through and um, made do. And uh, I guess I feel like that really resonates with various seasons of life, um, that there are times when we just sort of muddle through and maybe we don't even fully realize what we're missing. One of the things that I'm hoping to seek out in my own life is um, connection and community that I don't lead. <laughs> uh, it seems like all the things I get involved with, yoga and church work and you know, various book tours and these kinds of things are all, uh, all end up being things that I lead or even things I get involved with and then kind of say, I know, or things that I wish for in the world. And I say, let's make it, let's start it. Um, and it leaves me sort of longing for community in which I'm not, um, important, poor choice of words. I'm not in charge. I'm not, um, looked to as, as leader. And, uh, and that, that feels valuable and important. And um, I, I wonder if I believe that it will likely be much like the clouds clearing, it'll be a thing I missed that I didn't know I missed and will feel like a weight lifting. So if you're in one of those kind of gloomy seasons, despite the clouds clearing, or maybe where you are, there weren't any clouds last week, but um, I hope that you will seek those things that make you feel uplifted, the things you didn't know you missed, um, whether that's family or community or, um, or faith community, um, or just some quiet time, some reading time. May you find what makes your heart feel full and not neglect it and just muddle through. I don't, I don't believe that, uh, that if there is a God in all of this, that that God would want you to be muddling through all the time. I'm sure it's part of it. We all have to figure it out, but may you find the places that make your heart feel full and may the gloom lift it. Grace and peace, friends.